So you were, you know, hitting the hard yards in yeah. L.A., hitting the pavement, going yeah. to auditions. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, I didn't have many auditions. Let's be very clear. Mm. I could probably count on my hand how, I don't know, maybe 10 in like three years. Oh, that's depressing. Oh, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a lot of friends who were going on, you know, five, six a day. Mm -hmm. And it was tricky because, like, we always do that comparing and despairing yeah. thing. And I'm like, you know what? And I still do it. I'm like, I'm not going to be X person. I'm not going to be Y person. Like, I'm just who I'm going to be. And, like, yeah. the, eventually life is going to catch up to art. And eventually it did, and thank goodness. But, yeah, it was really tricky. It was really hard. Well, you know what's interesting as I hear you talk? It's interesting because you are clearly anointed. You are clearly someone oh, don't who... Don't make me cry. No, it's the truth. And people, you, you need to hear this. Look at the series of events of how things have unfolded for you. The odds, first of all, for acting in show business <laughs> are crazy. Yeah. Child, Aww. you have you have broken the odds. <laughs> you are... You are anointed. And you Thank have you. to know that on a level... You have to know that on a level that you will always be you will always be courted into where you belong. Well, thank you. And I think that's, it's not about me, though. It's not about my ego. It's like, what am, am I supposed to be doing? Right. You know, right. how can I help others? Well, it's not about your ego. It's, it's a knowing. It's knowing that, look, from, from damn, from Gainesville, Florida, <laughs> to Miss RuPaul. <laughs> yes! And exactly. here you are. Yeah. And, you know, and it's really, it's really great for everyone to hear that story. Because I know, mm. you know, the, you had you'd gotten very depressed sure. during that time. Oh, yeah. It's easy to do. And you're sort of, and I think, you know, Misery loves company, so and then you just get down in that vortex. It's really hard to sort of shift and spin that. Ship How did around. you shift that? How do you, when you're in the the depths of despair, when you got so few um, auditions in L.A., right. which is the loneliest place on earth, by the way. Yeah. The loneliest place on earth because everybody's in their car. Right. What did you right. do to to get yourself out of there? Well, it's interesting. Like you have to really be broken down to be built up, mm -hmm. and that's on my thirtieth birthday. I had a crazy panic attack, and I was like, something is not right. Like. I was in a marriage that, like, he's an angel from the heavens, but I knew that wasn't right, and mm -hmm. he knew it wasn't right. And I don't think if we were together, I would be in this position because I was doing everything for him, you know, like, because I didn't believe in myself enough to be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to take that, that leap of faith. And so I just, I had to really get rock bottom and say, like, this is not working. And mm -hmm. I start every single day with gratitude. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I really am just so, I mean, things that we take for granted, whether it's our own breath or electricity like running water. Yes. You know? Yes. I mean, we are Clean so air. privileged. Yeah. So privileged. And I'm like, if anything, just as I am, I'm enough. I heard just that, girl. Let I the am. church so, say amen. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah.